the people that I was around made sure that the hat was uh, in safe keeping. <laughs> um, some people wanted some pictures with it and stuff, so it was it was it was it was cool. Um, I was a mechanic. Yeah, yeah. I, st I still wore the mechanic suit, and I, I ended up wearing the hat. Um, the guys wanted me to still, and uh, so we still had a good time that night wearing the hat. Have done that more You know, I've, I, I'm in I'm in talks right now. I'm doing some 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 business uh, connections right now to see if we can make something out of it. But, uh, but yeah, it, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I really would like to jump on it before someone else does. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about this week, uh, you know, just looking at the Rutgers tape, what have you guys seen so far from this offense? Yeah, their quarterback likes to run. Um, their running backs run really hard, and uh, they like to do a big variety of things. Um, so, I mean, it's going to take a really good week of preparation for us to be ready for all that they can throw at us. So, they're not part of the West, then, you know, East, it's like, okay, you get this team, and then you don't see them for another, like, two years. Yeah. A little, little different pairing for Rutgers, because, I mean, you haven't played them in three years, right? And you've only played them three times total. Yeah, yeah. And I think they've improved a lot as a program over the last several years, probably since the last time we played them. Um, I wasn't around when we played them. Um, so, I mean, I don't have a whole bunch of uh, fam familiar familiarity with them as much. Um, but their, their head coach is doing a great job of uh, improving their program year by year. And, um, you know, they're a very respectable program. They play their tails off. So we got to get ready. Is it going to be weird potentially where a former old friend, if you will, uh, in Aaron yeah. coaching, if he's, I know he's missed, I think he's missed the past couple of weeks, but is it, would it be weird facing him again? And just what, what could he bring to that, not just the offense, but special teams? Yeah, I mean, their special teams, I think, is probably the best group of, I mean, in all four phases that I think I've seen this season. Um, they do a great job putting their offense and defense in great field position. Um, and I've heard um, AC hasn't played much the last couple of weeks. Or hasn't been available, but some, some tells me that he'll be available for this game for sure. Historically, Wisconsin playing their best ball in this month of November. Where are you guys with that? Be, obviously, you can always improve, but do you like where you're at right now? Uh, yeah, I think we all love where we're at right now. Um, across the board, coaching staff, players, I think we all do, but um, the biggest thing that we've been stressing since we walked in this building today is don't stop, um, don't get satisfied. Technically, nobody nobody really cares what we've done so far, and I mean they're not supposed to care. You know, it doesn't really matter right now yet. So we need to keep going, and um, you know we just need to keep doing it again, being successful, and um, um, staying hungry. Do you like playing with that chip on your shoulder? Does it give you extra motivation? Absolutely, absolutely. It gives I think it gives this whole team a sense of urgency um, to be successful, and and uh, you know in each week and each day. Um, so whatever urgency that we've been having the last several weeks, we have to keep it. Coach Leonard said, he's talking about when you came in here yeah. first, it was just like you weren't talking to anybody. You were just, you know, you had to prove it. Um, and now, you know, you're like the vocal leader of the team on both sides of the ball. Like, when did that kind of switch for you? And when did, you know, and is it just natural? You know, you're a natural born leader. Oh, well, it's, I mean, it's an honor to even be talked about like that. Um, I mean, it just kind of naturally happened a year ago, uh, or probably before this last season, the 2020 season, the off season. Um, just kind of, I kind of just ended up being like the loud voice for encouragement and tough workouts, and um, you know, kind of snowballed into doing doing it every single day. Um, guys liked liked hearing it. They loved hear, having my voice in their ears when stuff was tough. So um, that's kind of how it all sparked. But I mean, your voice doesn't matter until um, you know your actions. Um, are respected and uh, I think that was the biggest thing for me coming in here was just earning trust and um, earning trust through my actions more than my words and um, that's why I didn't really want to say much when I got here and the more people wanted to hear my voice the more I thought it was necessary so um, no it's truly an honor to even be a, you know considered a leader on this team. When you do your you know pregame speeches or you know getting somebody's ear and hype them up where does where does your speech come from? Do, do you sit, uh, you know, at your apartment or whatever, and like think like, hey, I could say this or that, or is it just kind of just let it go? Yeah, it just it's just kind of natural, and I think part part of that be, it being so natural, I always want to come off genuine. I, I don't want it to be planned. I don't want it to be artificial in any type of way. Um, so, you know, when people 
you know, when the guys hear what I have to say, I, it truly comes from my heart. It comes from love for this team um, and, and love for that individual that I might be talking to. So um, yeah, I try to be as genuine as possible with that stuff. Colin, I was going to ask you with another safety, Hunter Wooler. I know. Yeah, thank you. Jim mentioned that he's made some strides the past three, four weeks on defense, but yeah. he's also doing stuff on special teams. Just what have you seen from him on both phases of the game? It looks like he, he might have snuffed out that fake, kind of the trick play on the kickoff. Yeah, too. yeah, he did. He did. It was a fantastic play by him. Um, I don't know if you had more questions off that, or just, or more just like, just how have you seen him develop as a, a you know as a true freshman making strides both on yeah. defense and on special teams. Yeah, um, I think Hunter has been so loved in this locker room because of his humility. Um, he's come in here and he's wanted to learn. And um, I mean, you can tell he's still obviously learning. He's still trying to figure out schemes and um, you know understanding the broad perspective of things. Um, but he's doing a great job on special teams. And you can tell when he knows what's going on and when he knows what he's doing he's the fastest player on the field. Um, so that gets me really excited for his future here. Um, I, I can't wait to see all that unfold, but um, everything that he's been doing has been the right way. And uh, that's why I think everybody in that locker room respects him. And um, he's only gonna keep growing and that I'm, I'm really excited for his future. No, no, go ahead. I was gonna say, just I know you talked on Saturday just about the, the transfers and those that have left the program. I guess with that, with in, in, in your in, you know your opinion on that, does it change a little bit too? Where maybe when you transferred, things are a little bit different now. Where the you know the early signing periods upon uh, upon yeah. us, there's also um, you're looking at just I guess the way things are you know help maybe yeah. potential eligibility or just. Being able to do it now so they can get their names out earlier. Does yeah. that play roles into that too? I mean, I, I've heard that, and I'm trying to have an open mind to it. Um, I mean, it, it is a different time. I mean, when I transferred, I had to ask my coach for my release. That was before the transfer portal. So um, it, it's a different time. Um, but at the same time, though, it's, you know, the transfer portal is not really my job to worry about and try to understand. You know, my job on this team is to make sure everybody here is on board. And, you know, in, in the moment right now, I mean, if you're not on board, then that's why that's why I really could care less, you know, about, you know, um, you know, about why they made that decision. Um, you know, I, I, I'm just truly focused on who's committed here and who's committed to being here and wants to finish this season out um, the right way. So uh, but I, I am trying to have an open mind to it. I mean, I, it, it is a different time. I, I agree with that.